first day, 9th of July 2015. Paper highlights. First, let's look at the paper highlights from Daily Mirror. CBK blocks present. As of yesterday, the United People's Freedom Alliance members chosen for candidacy started signing their nomination papers. In most cases, the lists have been sorted out. But a serious problem has arisen in the preparation of Gampaha district list. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. Mervin, Sajin, Duminder and Sarana unlikely to get nomination. More highlights from Daily Mirror. MR from Kurunegala. Chamal from Hamban Tata. Former President Mahindra Rajapaksa would be contesting the August 17th parliamentary elections from the Kurunegala district, while the Speaker Chamal Rajapaksa would be contesting from the Hamban Tata district. A reliable SLP sources told the Daily Mirror yesterday. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. Ranjan, MR doing all level after A level. The candidature of former President Mahindra Rajapaksa at the general elections should be considered as a positive phenomenon, United National Party member Ranjan Ramanayaka said yesterday. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. D. Abru case, SC calls for records. The Supreme Court yesterday directed the registrar to call for the case records in the Magistrates Court of Mount Lavinia in the case bearing number B2049 in 2015, wherein it was complained that the Supreme Court judge Sarat Abru assaulted his domestic helper. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. Ex-PC chairman of the news. The Court of Appeal yesterday acquitted and released former UPFA Mavanala Pradesh Sabha chairman KG Piyatissa, who was sentenced to death for committing a murder at Bellimulla Mavanella. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. Kamal Kaming. Popular actor Kamal Adharach yesterday said he would come to active politics and would contest the general elections from the United National Party ticket. More highlights from Daily Mirror. Variable assault. Suspect pleads guilty. Robert Dasanlagi Chandra Kumara alias Silva, who was slapped by a girl at the Variable bus stand and led to a social media sensation, pleaded guilty for sexually harassing the girl and other offenses. Now let's look at the paper highlights from Silang today. Will Mahinda come? Will the corrupt get nominations? Await 13 July. The Sri Lanka Freedom Party confirmed that there would be persons to whom nominations would not be given to contest the upcoming general election. When questioned by journalists at an official SLFP press conference yesterday at the party headquarters, General Secretary of the SLFP Anurupriya Darshanayapa said that no conditions had been imposed when giving nomination to former President Mahindra Rajapaksa to contest the election. Another highlight from Ceylon today. US GSP Plus to resume from 29th July. The US GSP Plus a concession scheme set up by the US government to expand economic growth of the developing countries will resume from 29th July 30 days after US President Barack Obama reauthorized the trade facility for Sri Lanka the foreign ministry said the US president signed into law HR 1295 on 29th June 2015 reauthorizing the US GSP plus program which will end on 21st December 2017 for renewal of the deal another highlight from Ceylon today Lebanese man goes wild in Havelock town. A Lebanese national and two Sri Lankans were admitted to the Colombo National Hospital after a brawl at a well-known restaurant in Havelock town, Colombo, yesterday evening. More halas from Ceylon today. Five new envoys appointed. Five new Sri Lankan envoys have been appointed to head the missions overseas namely to Australia, Bahrain, Canada, South Korea and Oman. Another highlight from Ceylon today. Liquor shops closed for three days. All liquor shops will be closed for three days by order of the excise department. Accordingly, liquor shops will be closed tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. The department announced this yesterday in view of the temperance month declared by the Ministry of Health. More halas from Ceylon today. Paul's chief says no ban on politics at temples. The commissioner of elections yesterday clarified that he had not given directives to anyone prohibiting political gatherings within the premises of religious locations. Commissioner of elections Mahinda Deshapriya said this to several bhikkhus who were representing the Ape Maubima National Movement. Another highlight from Ceylon today. UNP finalizes nominations. Those who want to contest from the United National Party for the upcoming general election have completed signing the nominations list yesterday evening. Another highlight from Ceylon today. Now winner challenges MR to win Kurunegala. Former treasurer of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, SB Nawinna, who crossed over to the United National Party, challenged former President Mahindra Rajapaksa to contest the election from Kurunagala district. Now let's see the paper halas from Daily News. Sarat D. Abro FR case. 
Mount Lavinia magistrate was biased. ASG case referred to a fuller bench. The Mount Lavinia magistrate has acted in a biased manner when Justice D. R. Bruce surrendered to the Mount Lavinia court, said Additional Solicitor General Yasanta Kodagoda before the Supreme Court yesterday. Another highlight from Daily News: Nominations to MR apply from the top. Former Deputy Minister Ranjan Ramanaike yesterday said that giving nominations to former President Mahindra Rajapaksa is part of a plan put in place by political leaders at the highest level. The UNP stands to benefit if this plan is implemented, he said. Ramanaike said President Maitri Palisi Sene has created an atmosphere for the UNP to secure a majority of seats in parliament by bringing in politicians who were allegedly involved in extortion, crimes, drug peddling, frauds and corruption. Another highlight from Daily News. Postal voting on August 5th and 6th. Postal voting for the upcoming general election will be held on August 5th and 6th. School teachers will be permitted to cast their postal votes on August 3rd, the elections department announced yesterday. Another highlight from Daily News. No nominations for certain SLF peers. Certain former Sri Lanka Freedom Party parliamentarians will not receive nominations for the forthcoming general election, United People's Freedom Alliance General Secretary Susil Premajayanta said. He was addressing the media at the SLFP weekly media briefing yesterday at the SLFP headquarters in Colombo. While refusing to reveal the names of persons who will not receive nominations for the election, he added that discussions are being held on the final decision of the nomination lists, but a few persons may not receive nominations. More halas from Daily News. No election propaganda on private SLTB buses. Private and SLTB buses would not be allowed to display election propaganda materials including banners and posters for the forthcoming general election. Lanka Private Bus Owners Association Chairman Gemanu Vijay Ratna said if anyone tried to paste posters and banners on private buses, it should be immediately brought to the notice of the Elections Commissioner. A spokesman from the SLTB said no SLTB buses would be used to transport people for the handing over of nominations and for political rallies. However, the SLTB buses could be obtained for the meetings at the party headquarters of political parties on subsidized basis. Another highlight from Daily News. Ranatunga files FR preventing his arrest. Western Province Chief Minister Prasanna Ranatunga yesterday filed a fundamental rights application urging the Supreme Court to prevent the Financial Crimes Investigation Division from arresting him. We brought you the paper halas from today's newspapers and we will bring you more tomorrow.